Good uh, morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the uh, Ministry of Defence's briefing here in London. Whether these are efforts by the Serbs to overcome genuine practical difficulties and security fears, or whether they are, they are just yet more delaying tactics designed to frustrate and to sap the will of NATO remains to be seen. But I can tell Mil Mr. Milosevic one thing. Any attempt to roll back from the agreement that he struck with Mr. Arktisari and Mr. Chernomirdin would be futile because NATO's resolve remains strong. The international community has Mr. Milosevic locked in a cage and he will not get out. The NATO troops to enter, the international force to enter. Kosovo. Well, I, there is obviously uh, a sequencing issue here uh, in relation to the Security Council resolution, the end, uh, the, the pause in the bombing, uh, the military technical agreement, but all of that uh, could come together very quickly indeed once this particular uh, discussion is over. And I really have to emphasize what I think I said in my opening remarks, that the, clarif the clarification being sought by the Serbs is about practicalities and not about principle. Uh, in the north and where we'd settle then. Uh, uh, yes, NATO aircraft <coughs> um, did attack an assembly area in the southern area of Kosovo yesterday. Uh, the targets in the assembly area were Serb forces in the open. There have been reports of hundreds of casualties, but quite frankly, we can't verify them. We don't know exactly how many casualties, and it would be, I think, unwise to guess. Serb troops were still in action, uh, uh, of course, yesterday, um, and uh, that is a situation we can't ignore. We'll be here again tomorrow morning at uh, 11.30. Thank you very much.